My name is Patrick Horsley, and I was one of the first six who started OPA. When I first began in clay, I was always interested in art in school. And uh, I went to uh, the Museum Art School, PNCA now. Just, I just kind of got bit by the pottery bug. And I thought, okay, if anything else, I can make a living making pots. It might be harder to make a living making being a painter. And then I graduated from the museum in 1971. I have done some teaching, but I've made pots, I always say, since 1971 when I graduated. Well, then we bought this place. It was 1980, and this building was here, and it was a newer building, and it's 24 by 24, and then I built a cover for the kiln and materials and things out there. So this is it. <laughs> I kind of like making my space comfortable for me. And I do little things to make it interesting or, you know, I always turn, I always come out and turn on the lights and if it's cold, I'll build a fire. So I have this kiln out here and a 35 cubic foot kiln. So how long does it take to usually unload a kiln? It's a stack up door, so the books are, bricks are all loose. And that takes 20 or 30 minutes to put in, either put in or take out. And um, the reason for that is, well, all kinds of reasons, but one of them is there's not enough room in my space to swing a door to wherever. We could have went on the track. And then to unload the kiln, uh, it's an hour, maybe a little more. Sometimes I slow down and look at things. And it probably takes me a day and a half to load it. Nice little test. That's 6,100. So I'm an avid glaze tester. So here's some test. So this is 6,093 glaze test B and A. So some of them have A, B, C, D, E. So I'm an, I test glazes all the time, mainly to see what, materi what kind of materi what materials are doing what, uh, so I can get what I want for surfaces and color. So. so how did the teapot come out? This one's fine. I make teapots, and these teapots at one time were quite large. And actually, uh, OPA, I, I won the best of show, and they gave that one to the Contemporary Crafts Museum. So I haven't made this kind for a while, but I'm in a teapot show in North Carolina in April. Uh, so I scaled them down a little bit. I had, a, I had lots of fun making them. So then this part is thrown, and you cut it up. And then I carve this out of a solid piece and add it, and then add a top. What's the, the best thing about clay and working with clay? Um, wow, that's a big question. And everybody has their own, their own reason and what they like about it. Some people don't, like I don't, I don't, I don't use porcelain. I mean, I have used porcelain. Porcelain's too fussy for me. I don't like to be fussy with the clay. I'm, I want to be able to move it around and change it and do lots of things to it. But the breadth of what you can do is amazing. Somebody a long time ago said, don't start making a pot that you don't like and selling it and you'll be stuck just making that pot. So. My pots are always changing. I don't have a problem coming up with new things. Sometimes I lay awake at night thinking, okay, what do I make tomorrow?